Hello again, Sadin. Yep, this is the ring. Of course I defeated it, otherwise you wouldn't have the ring. Oh, Gil. I need money. I beg you, the ring, the ring of the toad. Take it to my beloved. Go. I grow weak. So cold, so cold. Wait, what? Um, take it to whom? Jesus. Ah, right. Um, I need to take it to. Uh, who was it again? I think it's in the dry seasons. I, I need to come back here during the dry seasons. Okay. Uh, off to the next one. Well done. It is time for us to head down to the Osmond Plain. It is here south in the Giza Plains. And while we're uh, heading over there, I'll explain quickly how the weather system works in Final Fantasy XII. Uh, it's quite simple, actually. Let's just turn down the speed. Uh, the way it works is that uh, during your... Uh, <coughs> during, uh, blah, uh, blah. While you're playing the story... Jesus, that was horrendous. Let's try this again. <laughs> um, until you reach a certain point in the story... Uh, the weather is automatic. Automatic. Yes, that's the word I'm searching for. So until you reach a certain point in the game, as I've said, the weather is automatic. But once you reach a certain that point where it is not, uh, you have to wait uh, about 20 minutes for the weather to change in each region. I believe it was 20 minutes. I might be mistaken, but that is what pops to my mind. Right about now. So, anyways, welcome to the Osmond Plains. <coughs> oh, that sounded terrible. Anyways, this is a perfect place to gain experience and money at this stage of the game. These beings right here. Oh my! What's up with the frame drops? Uh, these uh, beings right here. You can steal something called iron. Platings, I think that's what it's called. See if they drop it. An iron carapace, that's what it is. And a piece of storm magic site. Anyways, the carapace sells for a lot of money. So farming these with steel is a good way of getting it. I think about after about an hour of farming these, I got... Uh, how much money? About 30,000 gil? Yeah, I believe that's the case. But for now, I'm just gonna ignore them all. There are flying monsters around as well. Those are the only ones that are annoying. Since I don't have that... Uh, I don't have that much of uh, a mean of taking them down. The way I'm doing it at the moment is uh, basically by magic. I use Bosch and Vaughn to toss magic at them. And Fran uses poison. And then long range attack with her bow. I'm currently leveling up Vaughn to be able to use a uh, ranged weapon, and I'm going the completely wrong way. Anyways, uh, Vaughn, yes, a long range weapon, but there aren't any available at the moment that's that good. I think I lose about 40 attack power. Man, I am messing things up here. Where the bloody hell am I going? No, I'm going west. I am so sorry that I am not doing this properly. Yes. I, I got a little bit turned around while I was speaking and fleeing at the same time. Anyways, once we get over to Jihad, Jarahad, something like that. Oh, hello. We will be... Uh, accepting, not accepting, we will be... Well, is it? I think it is, yeah. Anyway, we'll be accepting the hunt for a monster in the area, not down there. Ooh, fleeing, still fleeing. Are they... Uh, those horse-looking beasts over there? I think they are 
reskinned Ixians from Final Fantasy X? I think that's the case. And... Yeah, it is looks like the way. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Yes. But anyways, uh, as long as you don't go uh, down into the, the shred, there are a couple of rare game hunts down there. And into the caves that is in the switchback, you should be perfectly fine in this area. Wow. Uh, you know what? Screw that. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna skip ahead down to the hollow green. This is silly of me. And there we are. I know this place like the back of my hand, but for some reason I'm just not capable of uh, orienta orientating myself right now. Let's just help this guy with these chocobos. They cannot be ridden. They're just gonna kill them all. Why? Uh, no idea. I'm just wasting time actually. So let's just ignore them. Let them sleep. They drop feathers. I think they're about 150 gil each at the market. Jahara, that was the name. And here we can get ourselves a couple of new maps. I will take that, even though I've already ex explored most of it. While leveling up a little bit. It's Jahara as well. Yeah, why not? Why not? I wouldn't mind uh, backing up this little Moogle's uh, uh, Jeez. It just blanked out. Uh, no thanks, not now. I, I really don't need a Chocobo. Hello, Gary Warrior. Who are you? This is Gary Land, no place for you, child, to play games. They're wayfarers, they bring, they bring no harm. I saw them cross the Osborne Plain, they are warriors of great distinction. The fiends of the plains troubled them not at all. You venture upon the plains alone, war chief. Again? <laughs> what business have you with the Gareth? Let them pass, the responsibility will be mine. Hmm? If it is as you wish, war chief. Then you may pause. This day, these days, see many humans wandering through our lands. War chief, isn't that one word? I I, I do believe that's just one word. Huh. I have not made my introductions. I am Supinello, war chief of this village. We Gareth have been friends to all since long ago. However, lately the human world is in much turmoil. We must protect our village and our people. As War Chief and Protector of our village, I ask you, why have you come to this land? So you have come to ask about the Nephi site. You must speak to the elders. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it. We are going to see the elders of this place. Now, there shouldn't be any chests around here that you should stay away from. So if you find one, just take it. Eh. Warrior. Hello. I wonder, do they have some good shops here? I hope so. If they do, I'll take it. Let's check out the map to see where we are headed. Uh, I guess you could just... Supposed to go west again. It's all the way west. Uh, ooh, there's a shop. Just gonna check that out quickly. Uh, wasn't that much. Nothing I haven't found in uh, uh, Robin Astor. Now then, let's go meet with the elders of this land. And hope for some good news about the Nef site. Uh, let me pause. Have you learned of the stones? Perhaps you ask the elders, they might have wisdom for you. Oh, okay, so the elders are s around here, okay. 
uh, well, it says that these are herders, so I have a feeling that they are not the ones I'm supposed to be speaking with. Let's see, hello, are you the elders? High Chief Zayalu, ah, these are the elders. More humans to come visit us, a little bigger this time, but no matter. Little bigger? Does that mean Larsa was here? Hey, it must have been. You need not tell me anything. I know you have come to our village to learn of the stones, the Nephesite. Uh, you must speak to the great chief, he alone, okay. At least the high chief, and I guess that's the great chief. Oh, it's inside. Give this to war chief Supinello from, okay. A jail stick. There is no rush, when you next happen to meet him, you may give it to him then. We we'll find all the answers you seek. Yeah, thank you. Let's go speak with the war chief again. Give him the Jaya stick. What is the stick anyways? Let's check out the inventory. Is it here? Ring of the toad. Jaya stick. A fragrant stick of Jaya wood. Set to protect the bear from evil spirits. Can I sell that? I need to check it out if I can. You know what? No. I'm not gonna sell it to him. Uh, in my haste, I did sell it, and then I regretted it, and I reloaded, and I had to look it up. The Jaya stick. And if I give the stick to Supinello, uh, I will eventually get the bow gun and only a bolt. If I sell the stick, I will then obtain killer bow and onion arrows. Uh, the killer bow, if I'm not mistaken, that is an early game item that you get in Bujerba. So let's see. Give him the Jaya stick. Yeah. Let's do that. Yes, he did. I shall receive it. I thank you for bringing it to me. Now, did you learn what you wished? No, I didn't. Yes, I want to speak to the Great Chief. Yes, yes, yes. She is of the royal blood of Damasca, whatever. Thank you for letting me pass. Much appreciated, guys. Hello, hello. Is there any more shops in this area? Doesn't look like it. Meet with the Great War Chief. Still, stop asking me these questions. <sighs> Old Man Dallin? Is that you? This Nethysite, you have used it. No. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? Why is it dropping in frames? I need to figure that in out. The age is past. I've just got the gift of Nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraith will flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the Dynast King himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, 
the stone's power. It will be your posterity who wield the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst, a longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic, of good and of evil. Who is this? It is often those who desire Nethesite, whom the Nethesite itself desires. <sighs> Larsa! Larsa? I thought it was him. To Baromi says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon. He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omasace. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Damascus. As queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Almaska and stop Marquis Ondor. Uh, for peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Damascus would be the battlefield. What if Nethesite were used on Rabinasta? You know my brother would do this. Uh. Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. <laughs> Rustler. You saw him, didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. Before, I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How can he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different for Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then, I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate, or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just, I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. 
I wish I knew. I'll find them. I will accompany you to Mount Boromises. I had hoped you'd say yes. I am glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet waiting on Boromises. Who is that? An enemy. And an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. That Larsa likes his secrets. He does not mean ill by it. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. He always dries his nose at the end of a conversation. Have you noticed that? Holy Mount Boromi Seis stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yacht, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yacht Yensa, right up to Raithel's tomb. Skystone that works even in Yacht. You know, Nethersite's behind it. Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you, and you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man will do the same. Yeah, he's the leading man, not one. And we have ourselves a guest. Nice. Use this time, people, to level up your characters. Another helping hand really helps leveling, and getting items and gold, gill, and whatnot. The Bogan and Quiver of Onion Bolts. Uh, okay, and now we can ride the uh, Chocobos. Sweet. But before we leave this area, we are actually going to um, do the hunt. Yes, I had almost forgotten about it. There's this hunt down in the Osmond Plains, and there's the one up in the Sand Sea. The bird. And I do believe. Our good friend Larsa will be of great use. 